Welcome to Share, sharing our wisdom with you. Brought to you by Local Wisdom Inc., where we've been producing smart, healthy, and happy websites for over 10 years. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Local Wisdom Share. My name is Eric. Today, we're going to be going over how to create a XML sitemap and then upload the XML sitemap into Google Webmaster Central. Uh, uploading your sitemap here will allow Google to know when your pages were last modified and also to know where all your content pages are. That way it doesn't miss anything when it crawls your site. Um, as most of us know, when Google crawls a site, it goes pretty deep within the content to try to find everything about your site that it possibly can. One of the best ways to let Google know exactly where everything is the first time is to create a sitemap. Um, the tool that we're going to use today is a website called xmlsitemaps.com and you can find it at xml-sitemaps.com. There's plenty of these free sites available that will generate an XML sitemap for you. Um, we're going to be looking at a website that Local Wisdom created. Uh, it's called Chain of Hope. It's a small charity site with only about five static content pieces in it. So this is going to be a very simple uh, sitemap that we're going to create. And the first thing that we need to do to get started is to actually generate the sitemap. Um, we're going to copy the root of the domain, bring it over here to xmlsitemaps.com, and paste it right here in the starting URL box. Don't need to worry about any of these other settings for now, and then just click Start. Now what this is actually going to do is it's going to go through the site and create an XML sitemap for us. Now, you can use any site that you want to to generate this file, but you need to make sure that you have access to it, which I have a link to download it right here under Uncompressed XML Sitemap. And then also if you scroll down a little bit, you can see what it generated for you. Now, if you look through a sitemap, it's basically a listing of every page on the site and its last modified time. So this website actually crawled through the site and created it for us. You can see it starts out here with the root, and then to the index page, and then each one of these is one of the static pages that we were just looking at a moment ago. So what you're going to need to do is download this file, which I can do from right here, and we're going to, you're going to save it and upload it to your domain. Now you want to make sure that you place the file in the root of the domain. By in the root, I mean you can go to chainhope.org slash sitemap.xml. And you can see here that I've already uploaded the XML file right to the domain. Now, what we're going to do next is log into Google Webmaster Central. And if you've never used this part of Google before, there's a whole bunch of tools that are in here that are really great for analyzing your site. And one of them is the ability to add and edit sitemaps. So I'm just going to log in. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is add the domain that we're going to be working with. And as you can see here, I've already added chainhope.org, and it's already been verified. Now, for to add a new domain, you simply type it in at the top, and then to verify it, you're going to be asked to upload a file to your domain, just like I did with the sitemap a moment ago, and then that will verify that you are the owner of that URL. Um, when you come in here and actually create a new domain, it'll give you the directions for verifying it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, what we're going to do here is add a sitemap for chainhope.org. Now, as you saw me browse to the XML sitemap over here a moment ago, I'm going to put in the same path right up here in this top box. So again, it's sitemap.xml. You click Submit Sitemap. It'll take a moment. Google will go out and find the file, go through it, and then it's going to add it onto your list of sitemaps in just a moment. There we go. So you can see here that it says last downloaded 24 minutes ago because I already had a sitemap up here before. I deleted it for this demo. Uh, if this is your first time putting this up, this last downloaded field will be blank. Um, also, the status here says pending. What that means is Google goes through each one of these files. It crawls through it to make sure there's no errors or no warnings. And once uh, it goes through and does that, that status will change to OK. And you can actually click on this details field over here.
if it's going to go. There we go. And this will actually change to OK as well uh, once your file is verified. Now, this field right here where it says last downloaded by Google, this will show you when the last time that Google went out and actually checked your sitemap, which after you upload it, it should check it immediately. So that time should be pretty close to the last downloaded time. So if we go back here, again, if anytime you have a website that the content changes on or you want to make sure that you're ranked well or there's a lot of pages that you want to have indexed, having a sitemap is one of the best ways to guarantee that Google knows where all of your content is and when it was last modified. So that way it always gets the most recent version. So it's very important that when you have the content changing around often, or if you're adding pages or removing pages, you want to make sure that people who are searching for your site in Google know that. Especially if you remove a page or if you add a page, uh, you don't want people finding pages uh, cached in Google that aren't supposed to be there anymore. And you certainly want people to be finding new pages that you're adding to your site. Whenever you make those kind of changes, um, and you make the changes to your sitemap.xml file, you can simply just go back to your webmaster tools and submit the sitemap again. Uh, that way it'll be updated, Google will know that it's updated, and when it crawls your site the next time, it will check for the XML file and follow that as it goes through all the different sections of your site. Um, just like on the Chain Hope site, there's these five content pieces. If I added another content page, I would have to update my XML file again and resubmit it. And that way when Google comes back to look at it again, it knows that I added a news page, for example, and that all the content on that news page will then be indexed by Google. So as you are making your changes to your site and as you're making content changes, you want to make sure that Google knows everything about your site as much as possible. The more information it has, the better it can serve up your content for other people especially if you're looking to get your site ranked well, a sitemap is one of the best places to start. Um, the Google Webmaster Tools section with the sitemaps, uh, this is a little bit more advanced than just having the sitemap static on your own site. Um, this actually gets submitted directly to Google. Um, now other search engines can also use your sitemap once you have it uploaded. Make sure you keep the file name sitemap.xml because that's a well-recognized name uh, for sitemaps when other browsers will come to your site. So I hope you enjoyed the screencast today. Thank you very much. If you have any ideas you'd like to see shared, please contact us at share at localwisdom.com and follow us on twitter.com slash localwisdom. And once again, this podcast was brought to you by Local Wisdom Inc., where we've been producing smart, healthy, and happy websites for over 10 years.